Welcome, welcome, welcome once more great people of Biafra, lovers of freedom. There are informations that we need to pass across to each and every one of us. Um, it is very important at this moment that we know that uh, the zoo are now using uh, IPUB Nigeria to cause chaos in Aba. Um, information has it that they have buyed one innocent young man from rivers known as ik ikechuk rivers mm, they buried him uh by 6 30 pm yesterday just for supporting simon Egba, just for supporting the prime minister they came to his shop he is known to you know make shoes they came to his shop in power line Naba. And uh, they acted as though they wanted to buy um, shoes. And in the process of communicating with him, they pulled out their uh, color and uh, buy him. This is what the zoo government want them to do to distract uh, the second of December declaration by the Biafra government. But then they would be strongly resisted. The PM has noted this and he has given out his warning stating that uh, let us see who will run in the end. May the soul of this innocent young Biafran and every other who has fallen in this uh, divine battle rest in power. He say, he say, he say. Now let's go into the water. Water. The Joint Border Patrol Commander in Bakasi Peninsula has been pied. The commander of the Joint uh, Bad, uh, Border Patrol has been pied. The Biafra Navy pied him and the four others. The message reads that just in Biafra separatist militants by Joint Border Patrol Commander in Bakasi, um, the Black Marine, a dreaded Biafra separatist militant group, has spied a very top commander of the Joint Border Patrol. It was gathered that the separatist militants um, stormed the maritime border after being thwarted days ago by mostly the Nigerian Navy. They launched attack on the Cameroonian controlled axis by about five Cameroonian forces including a top commander in an attempt to bomb oil installations. They were also repelled and they went back to their base. Now, they are receiving water, water and one of their commander, their top commanders, you know, being in charge of the border patrol, the joint border patrol, you know, has uh, gone to see his ancestors. Um, it is a strong warning to every other person in Bakasi Peninsula. The people and the owners of the land are not happy. Leave the land of Bakasi alone for your own good and effect all the demands of the people of Biafra. You know their demands. It's already on your table. For peace to reign, you must obey their demands but if you continue to do that uh, you are strong you can do this and do that the people and the owners of the land will tell you and show you that that land belongs to them and that the spirit that governs the land will continue to cover and protect the owners of the land and not strangers who have come to oppress and you know subjugate them it is not going to happen
what what also has been happening in various areas in Biafra territory in Imo in Okigwe they have been receiving water water but they will not want to come out to tell you what they are you know receiving but let me bring this powerful message to you for you to understand what is playing out now the other interesting news is that Boko Haram terrorists have taken over the Nigerian military largest training camp their largest training camp in Katangura in Niger State they have taken it over <laughs> they have the, how is it possible that Boko Haram will take over the largest training camp military training camp in Nigeria in Niger State Katangura how is it possible for this to happen remember the prophecy of Mazen Amdekano many years back he said we will drag them into our land and buy them and as they are flooding and flooding into our land we will be buying them in our land and their own land will remain porous for the for the Boko Haram members to take over and to run over that is exactly what is happening they will not know that they are already digging you know their six feet but <laughs> in the nearest future they will understand what is happening their largest training camp has been taken over you know they have about three training camps in nigeria they have the one in niger they have the one in jaji they have the one in uh, which other place is it about three of them and now their largest training camp in niger has been taken over this is a clear message to them that they are now losing in both fronts they are losing in the north and as they are sending their men down to um, the eastern region <laughs> they are receiving heavy water water they don't have men again no? <laughs> you people don't even understand what is happening they are recalling retired generals have you not heard in the news they are recalling retired Retired generals, retired officers to come back. People are leaving, many are leaving, and there is serious commotion in their camps. There is serious commotion in their camps. There is divide. There is this uh, lack of trust. Because people have seen that the House of Fulani are trying to dominate and take over everything. And then there is this lack of trust between them. And you see that the anger is brewing. The anger is coming up. And the time will come when you begin to notice that they will be fighting against each other. It has already started, but it is, you know, they, they are downplaying it. They are downplaying it. But... A time will come it will become rampant and you would understand that <laughs> the division is here already <laughs>